somebody once said that goals are not greeted by cheers, but by the opening of notepads. Some people collect stamps. We collect visits to football grounds. This is sort of train spotting for, uh, for those of us that miss steam trains. <laughs> I'm Lawrence Reed and I'm a ground hopper. And I'm Robin Reed and I'm a ground hopper. It's ground 486 for me. Just short of 1600. 729, I think I'm up to now. I'm only about 130 or something, I'm like over. <laughs> 2380 something. 2330. I'm only a thousand behind no. it. But I've been married, so I did have a life. <laughs> I did I did have a life once. <laughs> Did it not frighten you slightly mixing with us guys? <laughs> One of my friends calls it collecting the intangible, which is quite a good description because we are collecting grounds in the way that other people will collect beer mats or collect coins. I'm Chris. I'm the guy that organises the ground hops. We've got ground hoppers here from Cornwall, West Country, South East of England, East of England, the Midlands, Lancashire, Yorkshire, you name it. Hoppers love their programmes, their badges and all the rest of it, so that gets organised. Uh, for the club, they get a massive crowd. We're putting a boat. 250 on the gates of each club, 250, 300. Been to places that I've never even heard of, little towns that I've never heard of, and you see the game, you see the club from a different angle as a neutral. Today's games are at Glenrothes, Crossgates Primrose, Dundonald Bluebell, Hill of Beath Hawthorne. Everybody has their own take on the hobby. It's a very stat-orientated thing. That can be a bit OCD. Jotting down the team lineups. Yeah. Recording arcane statistics. That would be me. My little quirk is I have to get all four corner flags. I like putting it all together later and, you know, remembering how the ground looked and getting a real feel for it. Some won't count a ground if they haven't seen a goal. Some will see 15 minutes of a game and then run to the next one. Ones that wait five minutes before the end of the game will be stood by the turnstiles, make a mad dash to the next one. You may think that's sensible behaviour on an afternoon like this where it's, you know, we're on a schedule, but they'll do it on the last game of the evening. Why? <laughs> <laughs> so that game finished 3-0 to the home side. Uh, the attendance was 4-1-0. All right, we will have a shot. <laughs> There are only two types of ground hopper. There are the ones like the two of us who appreciate that we're mad, we embrace the fact that we are mad, and therefore we're reasonably easy to deal with because, you know, we sort of understand what we are. The other type are the ones who think what they're doing is entirely sensible, and frankly, let's get this one straight. We are all mad. <laughs> There's a whole generation of us who've just got fed up with football at the same time, I think. It re-energises me, though. It makes me realise that football isn't about the top flight. It's, it still thrives at this level. People still love it at this level. Just got fed up with top-class football. It's the money's killed it. The game's not much fun. Oh. Have I missed a go? <laughs> nice just to rock up somewhere and not know what it's like. Guys around, you, you get to know them. Walked in the ground and there was like 10 people there I knew. And I was like 200 miles from home. I'd never heard of ground hopping until I met Lawrence. Second or third day was we went off and did a game in Wales on a 3G pitch in the Absolutely pouring down rain. But... Soaked. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd put her off. <laughs> I 
by the fourth, you are pretty tired, but you're still enjoying it. I think what comes over every time I come up to Scotland and we do the hops here is just the passion of the fans. It's brilliant, you know, and there's, what, two, 200 very happy, nerdy, ground-hopping folks at the end of today, so it's, you know, it's all good. I think people have enjoyed it, loved the games, loved the grounds. Scottish football is um, a breed apart from what, what you get in England, and we all love it. Half the list for next year, so I know I know where we're going next year, and I know I can start planning now. People say you watch too much football. It's more than football. 